Hello, it's King Zombies here, playing some more Dragon Quest XI S. Last time we got stranded on this small, weird island, uh, and a mermaid came out of the water and asked for our help, basically. <laughs> so we're gonna go travel to somewhere and try to find a person. I had a word with that Michelle. Love you, girl. And if you're gonna believe this, she only got and used her mermaid powers to get the stallion moving again. You can leave whenever you're ready. Yep, let's go. Yes. So, here we are in the open ocean. I could just keep go exploring, I guess. Uh, mostly I want to go right here, because that's close by. Let's see what this is. I don't know, I just like exploring as soon as you can. It's very Dragon Quest. Okay. You're a big guy. What the heck are you? A spike, they're spike tears, okay. And a jowler. Okay. We can take you down, I'm sure. Never seen one of you before, though. Possibly new to this game. Multi thrust. That's a little annoying. Unless I can learn the skill. Or anyone really can learn that skill. Could be quite useful. Eric, you're getting a little hello. Thanks. Well, not as much anymore, I guess, but still. I guess we don't have any big AoE guys on our current team. But that's okay. I mean, Rab kind of fills the role of magical support and offense. So. Just testing out some of these guys, I guess. Surprise! What, what do you... Just attack him. He's close to being down. Right? Jeez, how much health does he even have? There he goes. So what all is on this little island? I mean, other than this hut, I guess. Does anyone live here? There's a fire. 200 gold. Not too bad. Hello? Oh, there's someone here. Adventure, are you? Are you? And often we get folk like you coming out here. Silence a place for hermits, exiles, and other sorts of outcasts. When I was younger, I got of all sorts. Pirating, pillaging, and like. But now I spend my days just staring out to sea. Say no place for a globe-trodden traveler like you. Reckon it's high time you're on your way. Okay. I was just... I just wanted to check out this island, because there was a port. Or whatever. Just doing some exploring, it's fine. It's pots. Ooh! Mini metal. And there appears to be another locked door inside one of these things. Intriguing. There's another place to try to remember. For later on. Uh, and that's a worse door. Great. Yeah, once I get my first key, we're going to be going back to basically everywhere. Just to see what it unlocks. That'll take a while. Well, there's a port on this side. That's kind of nice. Let's see if this is the place. Actually, it definitely isn't the place because there would have been a, a marker on the map when I got that would have seen. But still, gonna explore it to see what's here. It's a very linear path. Most of these islands are gonna be places that I'm gonna need to be at some point later on. But as I'm, I mean, I can't visit them now. 
At least a little bit. Hammerhead's in a troll. Uh, other variants. Oh, the ground. Interesting. Use a leaf, even. There's passage over there, but... Uh, are the, the symbols on the ground meaning anything? They might have significance later on. I guess. I mean, I know I'm not very far into this game, so... Like, less than a third. Oh, can I climb up here? I can. I'm definitely doing that then. Ah, a chest. Crafting comforting clothes. Robes of serenity. Hmm. Right, let's head off this direction then. Uh. Hello. I do not believe I have fought one of you yet. Cyclops. Ouch. Oh, good. That's very useful. Ooh, that's quite amount. Quite a good amount. Thanks for the heal. Fallen can't get up. We're doing pretty good. Oh, it's gotten back up. Oh my. Uh, can we take it down? It's a little bit higher, high level for us right now. Uh, looks like we should be okay. There we go. Another one bites the dust. 200 preemptive attacks. Nice. And another one of these little places that requires a key. We'll get it eventually. Oh, can I jump off this way to make my way backwards? That'd be useful. No. So what are those symbols on the ground? Are they showing anything specific? I can't tell. Hmm. I'm sure they'll probably be important later. Let's head out of here. Alright, we'll head off of this direction then. More or less straight. Uh... It's interesting, I could see sort of inland over here. Or in towards the inner sea. Uh, I guess we'll go around this way then. Try to find a port. To dock at. It's starting to rain. How ominous. Oh, these are new. Pretty sure. Well, that one went down fairly quickly, but still. Let's get rid of them. Ouch. Uh, there are ships over there. Are they moving? They do not believe, appear to be. They might be fishing vessels. Have I seen this guy? I don't know if I have. Let's take him down. Ouch. Goodbye. 
I'll swan some. <laughs> oh, Veronica leveled up. So are they fishing vessels or are they enemy ships? They appear fairly small. Do not stop here. These waters are dangerous. Sail on, sail on. Excuse me? So they're just, they just are here. So that appears to be the port that I need to be at. Well, let's just go ahead and dock because... I don't want to go all the way around this whole landmass right now. We'll do that later. Oh, there's a well, but it's blocked off. Oh, well. <laughs> That's fine. Hello. Well, let's head on farther inland, I guess. Ooh. A seaside paradise that Shell tells me is home to the prettiest pals in all the world. <gasps> oh, pals! Bright blue waves, pure white sands, and fabulous jewels just lying on the beach. Truly, darlings, this is the promised land. Although it does seem a little less promising than I expected, where is everybody? Something's not right here. Still, it's not our problem. Let's just find this Kai guy and get out of here. Hello. Welcome to Long Lulu. Seaside paradise of crystal waters and perfect pearls. Hope you enjoy your stay. If you're looking to trade for pearls, I'm afraid you've come at a bad time. A nasty tentacular has been stirring up trouble in the seas south of here. Men haven't been able to catch a thing. Ooh. Boss. I'll have to deal with that sooner or later. Huh, you're looking for Kai? I didn't know that boy had any friends. You should go see his ma. You usually find her up at the church. During day anyhow. How? As soon as sun sets, she runs on home and refuses to come out till it's light again. Kind of a weird family. I mean, there's a dock here. I guess I could come over here. Well, not really, though, because it wasn't available. Hello. I only got married last month, and now my honey has gone away to fight the tentacular, praying that he makes it back in one piece. Please, I beg of you, keep my husband safe. That's probably what those ships are about. Almost missed these. Soft wart. Crazy woman who lives in our village. She's totally pupil? Pupil? The morning she goes up to the top of a cliff and fires a cannon. <laughs> uh, the day has begun. I don't know why she does it. She must have gotten something against sleepy heads. Oh, and now it's nighttime. Oh. Yeah. That was great timing. Wow. Uh, I should be able to talk to most of the people still. I mean, it's slightly annoying having to deal with changes in time in this game, or this series in general. Uh, mostly because different people are out, which means I have to go through the village like twice if I technically want to see it, everything. Some days ago, an enormous tentacular appeared in the sea nearby. I haven't been able to catch any fish or gather any pearls since. All the able-bodied men have sailed out to drive the monster from our waters. As Kahuna of this village, I wish they could have sailed with them. I could have sailed with them. But I'm too old and frail. I would have gone in their way. Ooh, some pots. Horse manure. Great. Uh, that's in lots of the games. Just 
Don't know, don't really know why, it just is. Wow, I got a light as soon as I came in. Even outside looks brighter. Strange. Huh. Sure. There's no one here though. Oh no, there is. Hello? Fast asleep. Yeah. Should probably change the time today. Well, this appears to be in, so let's head in. Hello, kids. Oh, 105 gold? Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Alright, uh, I guess I'll explore in here since I'm right here. It's like they have such good kids, even when their mom is sick, I can rely on them to keep the business going. Don't know what I did to deserve them. Oh, here's a cupboard. 400 gold. That makes up for the, the cost of staying in that, I guess. <laughs> and the fact that there's nothing else here. Alright, back outside. Make sure they're... Well, let's go back over here to where this person was asleep. And continue our walking around the village, I guess. They no longer here? There's a book here I missed. Good thing came back. Memoirs of a Treasure Hunter, Volume 2. This is a journey, journal of Pseudo Nim, treasure hunter extraordinaire. Came to the village after searching or catching wind of a rumor that a sh schooner carrying the rainbow was wrecked somewhere in Erdria's southern seas. Changed for a couple of my best maps and charts, I enlisted the aid of the finest fishermen here. We dredged near enough the whole blessed ocean. Came back with, with a few tasty scallops for tea. So I've been spending a quiet evening in the bar enjoying our tasty catch. Village's local brew in the, comp in, in the company of the landlord's beautiful daughter. She tells me that my friend the fisherman is engaged to be married. Doesn't seem too keen on the arrangement, though. I shouldn't be surprised if he turned out to have his eye on someone else. But it's late now and growing dark. I might have found the rain bow, but I've had a lovely day and met some even lovelier people. Ah, uh, the traveler's light suits me to the ground. So they have an armor shop. May as well just check it out real quick. Uh, uh. So worse armor for me. I'm the only one who could wear full plate even. Nice. <laughs> Cloak of Evasion is pretty good. I only already have one though, so why there's... Why don't they have that equipped? Oh, because I only have one and it's equipped on her. Okay. I might buy one. No, I never really care about defense. I more care about how much damage I'm doing. So we'll be looking at that instead. My first pearly pieces. Pink pearl rings and rosaries. I guess I'll check out the weapon shop then as well. Hello. Uh, that is a big increase in damage. For me. More daggers. That's fun. It's a better wand. Steals more MP from dragons. <laughs> okay. Better heavy wands. Hmm. I'll look into it later. Recipe book. Building a blade of blistering brutality. Cautery swords. Yeah, the whole crafting in this game makes me not really care too much about uh, buying weapons. It's not that big of a deal. So I guess there's this building here. Normal shop. Hello. 
50 long years since I started running this place. Okay. What do you sell? What is this? What? It's material. Interesting. I guess. I guess I'll buy one. Because I don't know what that is. So might as well just have one of them. Okay, so this is a tavern. But it's daytime, so no one's here. Fishermen of Lanolulu are the life and soul of this village. The life boiler of the, this bar. I've known every one of them since they were little... Keikis? Asking if I know Kay? Yeah, I'm sure I know him. Bye, kid. Tell the truth. I never liked the idea of him sailing with the other men. If you ask me, that boy's trouble. Kai and me? We don't really get along. Why, well, he's always gotta try and be so serious. That guy needs to loosen up and let his hair down once in a while. Oops, some barrels. A mini metal. Let me go back and cast it, cash in my mini metals. Do that in a few episodes, probably. Same time when I just can't buy everything in the casino, probably. We'll see how it goes. Hello? Anyone here? No? Then you won't mind me stealing whatever's in here? Some earrings. Protect against air magic, I presume. Gotten a few different types of those from the casino as well. Cannon Lady's house. Uh huh. There's some barrels. Some gold. Nice. Cannon Lady's house. Great. Hello? Anyone here? You have many books. The Deadly Denizens of the Deep. Fourth Deadly Denizen, Mermaids. Mermaids are easily recognized, their upper halves taking the forms of human women, and the lower halves those of fish. Their voices are prodon prodigiously beautiful, and many a man has been sent peacefully to sleep by their dulcet tones, and be dragged down through the inky depths to have his soul devoured. Should you ever spy a beautiful woman in the water while at sea, do not call out to her, no matter how tempted you may be. For she is almost certainly a mermaid, and will want nothing more than to sing you sweetly to sleep. Sleep from which you will never awaken. Standard mermaid lore. Dave Legend. Despite his humble beginnings as a farmer's son, our hero's winning personality and superior physical strength enabled him to quickly climb the ranks of the Zardrustian Royal Navy. But when his beloved king fell, he became a pink-masked privateer, striking fear in the hearts of the eyeless scum of the sea, expressing his grief in an incident that soon became famous the world over. With the help of a mysterious traveling entertainer, he somehow managed to paint the masts of every ship in the inland sea, frigates, freighters, clippers, and caravels, a shocking shade of pink. Even to this day, that bold and brilliant gesture is burnt into the memories of seafarers ever everywhere with the name Dave into the hearts of the minds of Myers everywhere. So I get, take it this path takes me to the cannon? May as well head over there. Bit interesting. And there's a door. Hello. You're not one of the ones I can talk to though. Oh, she is over here. Nothing I love more than the sound of a cannon fire. As far as I'm concerned, every day should start and end with a bang. My late husband, rest his soul, made all the cannons you will see dotted around the village. Made them just for me. They're louder than anything. I'll fire this once again when the sun sinks beneath the horizon, so keep your ears open. I will, I guess. 100 gold? And a seat of defense. Nice. Came all the way to his far-flung backwater to buy some of their famous pearls. It seems a certain giant squid has other ideas. It's making a nuisance of itself off the coast and stopping the fishermen doing their job. Now they're completely down the stock. Come here looking for pearls too? I'm afraid it looks like all we can do is pray that the locals finish off the horrible thing quickly so they can get back to work. 
So you can pray in this little church behind the, behind the village elder's house at the top of these stairs if you ever need one. Uh huh. Well, I think that's where I'm going to stop for today. It's a bit, a bit long, I believe. Uh, but next time, we're going to go head up these stairs, do whatever's up there, and then probably go fight this giant squid. I'll see you guys then.